What is clearly a scam but is so normalized people don't notice. The diamond industry, specifically as it relates to jewelry. Everything that the average person knows about it stems from propaganda and advertisements created by D beers. They aren't rare. They aren't worth what you pay for them. They don't appreciate in value and are a terrible investment. They aren't special. Those key master games that usually have something like a switch and a pair of beats and stuff. I work part time at an arcade and you physically cannot win a prize until the machine has taken its retail equivalent in cash. Printer ink. Buy a laser printer. Expensive up front. $100 $700. But pennies in the long run. Compared to inkjet. Most come with scan copy fax features which come in handy in the work from home era. I did exactly this. Changed out from inkjet to a color laser. Pretty penny up front. Long term cost has been maybe 1% the total cost of using an inkjet long term. I do not like saying never, but I will indicate that I am incredibly hesitant to any plans for a purchase of an inkjet for the foreseeable future. I just paid for the privilege of setting up my router. My cable company recently started trying to charge me for my router, which I own. I got a notice saying we noticed an error in billing and we will be charging you for the equipment rental starting in December. If you will, I have every receipt from every cable or phone transaction I've ever done for that exact reason. I paid outright for my router so I won't be renting their shtai equipment at $12 a month. Now they want to charge me for my own property. After receiving that notice I hopped right onto customer service to get it resolved. And they directed me to their loyalty department because they could best handle it over there. I cut off the conversation and just cancelled my service. Cable companies are pure scum. Must be nice to have other providers to choose from. The loyalty department sounds like the people who try to persuade you not to cancel. Seems a bit premature to transfer you to them before you say you want to cancel. Bottled water. Like Darsani. Especially in places like an amusement park that markups the price a shocking amount. Also the average markup of bottled water is 4000%. Which is effing outrageous. BC water is literally free most places. I'm fuzzy on the details but Warp Tour got in a lot of legal trouble here in Canada because of water. They were in the habit of taking any water bottles or drinks from you when they checked your bag at the gate. Then you get inside and everything costs money. The energy drinks and pop cost less than the water. So most people would buy those instead. One woman bought energy drinks all day because it was a hot summer day. And she wanted to save money for merch. She had a heart attack and died. Now they aren't allowed to confiscate water at the gate. Should be law that they have to make basic tap water available at events like this. Payday loans. I used to work as a debt collector for a payday loan company in the UK. I was not a very good debt collector. People used to find out about the various loopholes that stopped interest being added really easily. I worked there just before Christmas. It is the job that made me go back into education. Because, my soul. Back to base security system monitoring. Huge scam. My smart home security system alerts me faster than ADT ever did. Biggest offenders. When you don't answer the call, they will send out someone and will charge you a fee. And every time your system messes up, it will send full error codes to the monitoring station. Which they will charge you a huge fee to fix. And oh if you want to disconnect it. The guy I spoke to from ADT was going to charge me $250 call out $50 for every 15 minutes he was at my house. And the job would have taken at least an hour he they said. They may need to go into the roof. No I just called a security installation electrician and he said $50 call out and $30 for every 30 minutes he was there but that was depending on the type of job. He was at my house for 5 minutes. Power off remove power wires from control box protect the wires so it's safe replace cover on control box done. He only charged $50. Compared to ADT's service which would have cost about $450. ADT hardwired it into our power system. Without telling us what circuit they plugged into. Basically one flip of a switch outside and the system turns off. I work at an insurance company. We had an insured pay extra for some pump warning. Warning didn't work. Basement flooded. ADT said oh well our contract says that's not our fault. Why pay for a feature when there are no consequence to the company for failing to provide said feature. Every single person on the internet that sells some sort of millionaire education it's all bullshit. Every single one of them. They are all effing liars. 
Most of them are not even rich to begin with. They fake it enough that some idiots buy it. You are customers to them. Nothing more. You want to be a millionaire? Buy my book and I'll tell you how. You buy the book and it says to start a website selling a book on how to be a millionaire. This is so true. I received a free book called, Fire Your Boss and the whole thing was just this guy saying, Start a blog, or a YouTube channel, or become an influencer just a bunch of BS about passive income, AdSense and SEO. My favorite are the coaching companies that sell you their services on how to start a coaching service. It's a vapid cycle. Ticketmaster. Yes, basically scammers adding huge marks up but making it impossible to use anyone else. Not to mention allowing mass purchasing bots to scoop up tickets only to offer a third party market platform for those same scalpers to resell their tickets at increased prices to the fans actually going to the show TM takes a cut twice. F Ticketmaster. Often, the point isn't the not noticing, but they're having a lack of better alternatives. What's worse is when the companies try to do right and we force them back into scamming. Stores like JCPenney sell $10 shirts for $20 at a percent 50 discount. They also inflate the price of belts, wallets, and underwear but then lower the price of pants. It all evens out but the customer gets the satisfaction of getting a deal. Once they tried to get rid of that with a fair and square pricing strategy but it almost bankrupted the company and it never fully recovered. People don't want to buy cheap stuff, they want to buy expensive stuff at a discount so they feel like they are getting a bargain. F. Spectrum cable and internet. F I had to get that out. My friends and family are stuck with this company because there's no competition. Rent to own furniture and appliances. Worked in solar construction for a while where you would travel to the middle of nowhere to work on a site. So they gave us a housing fund to rent a place during the job. People would get the rent to own furniture and charge it to the housing money as a living expense. Company was cool with it and once it was paid off the worker got to keep it. Yeah I lived in some company provided housing for a few months once and they furnished the place with rent to own stuff. So situations where rent to own actually makes sense to exist. They are just pretty niche and only represent a fraction of their business. There was an episode of Hotel Impossible where the owner rented the couch in her lobby on a weekly basis for years. She could have bought multiple couches with the money she spent on that one couch she doesn't even get to keep. For a hotel lobby I could see that being worth it. Lot of traffic. You'd be trashing your furniture regularly. I don't give a shift my 10 year old couch looks 10 years old. Hotel lobby wants all their sh looking pristine. Scientific journal memberships. Where academics pay journals to publish their papers which are then peer reviewed by volunteers and the journals themselves are then sold by subscription. Not to mention that a huge part of scientific research, breakthroughs, and discoveries are often subsidized by the taxpayer. So even though I helped indirectly fund their research through the NIC, I can't read the results without a $200 monthly subscription. I'm sure some academic ethicist could probably speak to this issue in more detail that I can. But that's always bothered the f out of me. The games at fairs carnivals. There's a Mark Rober video about carnival games surprisingly interesting for a video about statistics. It's this one. And yes, it's great. Those registries that people pay money to name a star. I keep seeing advertisements on FB for companies that will give you official or door leadership for like $50. Based on giving you the title to a small parcel of land somewhere like Scotland. I googled one of them once, and the first result was a breakdown of why the company is fraudulent and doesn't actually have access to any land anywhere. Email about this glory to seal land. I bought my friend one square foot of land in Scotland through a legit company. They are actually a forest preserve and do this to raise awareness and interest in forest preservation. It is super cute and they send update newsletters about your land they offer tours as well. Definitely lots of scam knockoffs though. I've seen the name a star thing that was legit through my city's space and science center. The money goes to funding kids programs, but never buy anything off Facebook. That's just asking to be ripped off. I think that would make a great base to a story about some Joe Schmo who buys a star and inherits the problems from that star's inhabitants. They come all the way to earth after looking up the international star registry and he has to deal with their centuries old wars. I swear I've seen something like this before as a gag but I can't remember where. Hot milfs in your area. It is my understanding that they are interesting in meeting me tonight. Get in line buddy. There are four in my area right now. And they're really really bored. 
IDK if anyone remembers power balance bracelets from the early 2000s. A lot of celebrities and athletes advertised for them and they claimed to improve your balance and overall health. Well being a rubber bracelet made in a factory, it was all nonsense but they still sold millions of units before shutting down. A new company owns them now and you can still buy them though, they still have things like that. We live in a touristy city and when my in-laws came to visit, my Phil bought a balance bracelet from a street vendor. He said at dinner he could already feel a difference in the way he walked. I love him to death. But, SMH, the placebo effect works even when people know it's a placebo. Lmao oh yeah I remember those, baseball players, specifically pitchers, used to wear several at a time when they were playing, then one day everyone stopped. The whole gimmick was to have you stretch first so you would have a control to base things off of, then stretch again with a bracelet on and suddenly you can stretch more, but you effin stretched out your muscles the first time so the second time you would obviously stretch further with or without the band. Manufacturers refusing documentation to private repair enterprises and requiring you to get your products fixed by the dealer, basically, the reason for the right to repair movement, ah yes. I used to work with John Deere and they were terrible about it. Farmers are looking for older equipment because they don't have those software lockouts. Agreed. When the crop is coming in, it has to be harvested now, not three weeks from now. What John Deere wants, tractor brakes, put it on a truck, ship it to the nearest repair facility, which may be hundreds of miles away, put it in the repair queue, wait until it's fixed, then truck it back to the farm hundreds of miles away, in the meantime the crop has spoiled, what farmers want, tractor beaks, pull out the diagnostic scanner, check the codes, repair it on the spot, go back to harvesting, total time, less than a day, for a farming supply company, John Deere doesn't seem to care much about farmers, my dad's a mechanic and helped me diagnose and fix a car issue I had via video chat this weekend. I spent less than $15 on parts and tools and a few hours under the car, because I'm not too experienced yet and don't have jack stands, and saved myself a couple hundred at least, iPhones disabling themselves if you put in third party parts, I can understand shutting off a certain aspect, but not breaking the whole phone, now Apple has disabling if you put parts from another phone of the same model. Paying for cable TV. The whole idea of paying was to create a revenue stream separate from that of marketing. There are a few out there, HBO, I think, but generally we pay to access the content and still have to spend 20% of the time sitting through chemicals. Then streaming comes in and we're free of advertisements again. For a bit, now YouTube has tons of ads and other streaming services are talking about adding ads as well. Netflix starts doing ads I'm going right back to torrenting. I've noticed their ads are through product placement in their original content. I prefer this way of advertising far better than seeing Flo the progressive lady 80 times in one Hulu stream. I was watching alone last night on Prime. Jeez, the number of stack TV ads I had to sit through. Unfine real. Some of these services Prime. Crave TV. You pay a monthly fee. Then if you want extra content you're stuck paying a little more for that. And then you get to sit through a ref ton of commercials on top of that. It's ridiculous. Homeowners insurance. Sorry, we're not selling new policies in your area right now because thing just happened where thing earthquake, wildfire, flood, and other things you might want to insure against. We don't cover that sort of problem. Where that sort of problem anything that actually happens to your house. Due to weasel wording loopholes. You submitted a claim, we're going to triple your rates forever after this. Social media. From their happy beginnings they are now mostly a funnel used to ram as many advertisements into your mind as inhumanly possible. Sponsored posts every third or fourth item I see you. IGFB ready TC. And that's not even mentioning the extensive filtering network that curates the information you get to see when you are looking for something. Curated information is just a nice expression for you being conditioned to form certain opinions by more stuff. Social media groom minds. Yes, and it's gotten way worse in the last year or two. Add videos crashing the page and such. Reducing a price by one cent to trick our brains into thinking a product costs less than it actually is. Or how gas stations take it one step farther to nine stroke ten of a cent. Loot boxes and video games. Legalized gambling marketed to children. All MLMs they prey on insecure women, specifically army wives to give in, 
It's almost like a cult, guaranteeing new friends. Lots of free trips and make $20,000 a month. They are not your friends. The trips are only free if you become a top earner and the only way to make $20,000 a month is to get at minimum 100 people in your team that work every single day. Most sales from those companies are from the salesperson who is buying it to sell it. And they tell you that you have to buy more to sell more. It's really gross. Uck. And then the Facebook invites as the women who bought into it try to get other women to buy from join them. Aunts and cousins reaching out to me to join their weird nail polish makeup ugly leggings cults. Listen up. Everything is a scam. Everything. But if you send me $19.99 I can show you how to turn the tables on the scammer and get his money. Limited time offer. Send money now. Do you have PayPal? Cat food. Look at the cat food at a random store, and see how the design brags about all the healthy vegetables they've crammed into your obligate carnivore's diet. Then check out the ingredients and see how con, rice, etc. are often the first ingredients. Pet foods market taught humans by trying to appeal to human sensibilities. Not genuine desire to provide your cat with the best diet. I've been using Costco cat food for a while because it's cheap and convenient, but I recently figured I should look into getting a better food. Turns out the Costco food, with fish as the first two ingredients, is better than 90% of the other stuff I looked at. I was pretty surprised. Annual college tuition increases. Why aren't they held to a competitive pricing model as opposed to having to take out a mortgage to go to school? Everyone wants to talk about government paying for college education. But there is no conversation on why is it that expensive anyway, especially when some units have endowments in the billions that just the interest on those funds could literally pay the tuition for everyone that goes through the door. Update. Wow. This went crazy. Thank you everyone for keeping it to a civil discussion on the topic as opposed to going on political rants. And thank you for the awards kind strangers. Not only does tuition go up every semester, but the full ride financial aid packages that are 90% loans by the last semester. This happened to me. I got a full ride. Literally the most money the school offered at $60,000. Graduated with $20,000 of debt even with grants. Interestingly, my sister got the same full ride two years later and it was only $54,000. Once you finish the high school, it's all fun ahead. Once you finish the degree, it's all fun ahead. Once you get a job, it's all fun ahead. Once you die, it's all fun ahead. Yay I'm not falling for that trap. College textbook prices. It's crazy how ridiculous expensive they are putting even more of a financial burden on students. It's amazing how one of the professors at my school wrote whatever science book we used for that class, and they'd magically put out a new version every semester. So your $180 Gench MI at 6 could only be returned for $5 since said 7 had just come out. New version meaning 6th edition had a tree on the cover. 7th has a giraffe. One of my professors wrote a textbook for his class and made a free PDF version accessible to everyone in the class. Best professor I ever had. Actually cared about teaching more than just making money off of students. Z Library Libgen are your friends. Spread the word. Funerals and everything to do with them. The funeral industry has insane pricing. Some of the funeral homes and vendors are even predatory. Getting grieving families to pay upwards of tens of thousands of dollars. Because that's what the deceased would have wanted. You didn't love your father at all. Did you? Was the question that had me slam my fist down on the table. My dad wanted a cardboard box cremation and no memorial. He got a cardboard box cremation and no memorial. With zero upselling from a different cremation service. The state AG got a complaint about the first cremation service. That is some hot garbage. Make sure you go back and leave a Google review for them also if you haven't already done so. People sometimes forget that you can review anything. I am sure I have cost my old bed buggy slum lords many potential tenants. The most common lie in the US is that there is a legal requirement for embalming. No state has such a requirement law. Embalming is expensive pollution to make your rotting corpse look nicer for a few more years. There is a YouTube channel called Ask a Mortician. She covers this topic well. If I had it my way when I die, just throw my body in a hole. No casket. This is how it should be. Burn me and put my ashes in a Folgers can. When I die, just throw me in the trash. The cardboard box my dad was cremated in nearly 10 years ago cost $250. 
the cardboard box. It'll tell my wife to buy a new fridge and put me in the box. That way she can justify buying a $250 box. Doing your own taxes and paying to use a privately owned software or a service when the government could totally do it for you. Send you the details and ask if it's correct. People in the US calculate their taxes? I mean don't you get a letter from the government to pay them certain amount of money? No. The tax preparation companies lobby hard to prevent this from occurring. It is a big business. It's worse than you think. We in America have a percentage of our wages taken out of every paycheck and sent to the government. At the end of the year, we need to calculate if the government has taken too much and have them refund it to us. The government does the same calculations that we do so they let us know if we make a mistake. Most mega churches. I remember an interview with Kenneth Copeland talking about how he needed a private jet to spread religion. And now the Lord has blessed him with two of them. Must be why he laughs so hard. One of them is literally ran by a man called Dollar. If that's not a clue, I don't know what is. I live down the street from the Creflo Dollar Church in Duluth, GA. Whenever they do have services there, the parking lot is filled with beat up old cars and pickups. But Creflo typically makes a grand entrance with an entourage of Cadillacs. Yet, people still flock to him. It's crazy. I'd add Joel Olstein too. He's just as bad if not worse than Kenneth Copeland. Having to pay $100 plus 4 glasses. I think my last pair were $1600. Granted my prescription is minus 26 but still. Kind of need them to function. OMG. That's impressively bad eyesight. The prices are so high because the industry is used to the markup. Try these websites to get glasses super cheap. Like $20. You can upload a picture of your face and virtually try on the glasses. Even the high density glass has become widely available. But traditional stores keep selling it like it was researched just last year. Hey Sado while the price of glasses is a scam. The use of an optometrist is not and if you have a higher or special prescription online retailers don't work well. Prism lenses and multifocals are the biggest issue. But if you have a high script the real thing is that what is a minute deviation for someone else matters much more for your script. When you have a high script the area of your glasses that is your true script is smaller. So if the pupillary distance is off you will also have the issue that being a hair off can cause huge problems. A lot of people also think optometrists are refusing to give PDs out because money. That's not it. It's that that number is more complicated than it sounds. For starters a lot of people have a dual PD with their pupils not being equidistant from their nose. But also because optical vertical height is not a part of Zeni or Warbipika's model. So for example my pupil is lined up at almost the very top of my glasses because I have a high nose bridge and not a lot of distance between my eyes and brow bone. All that said, I used Zenny to buy the frame and went to a mom and pop brick and mortar optometrist for the lenses and that still saved me a lot of money. Can confirm, I am currently wearing bifocals that were made by Zenny Optical. Of course, my optician says they are sh, but my wallet knows better. Mobile game ads that show gameplay of a Call of Duty or Skyrim style game but in reality are just a spin-off of Candy Crush. Don't forget those game ads that pretend to be puzzle games where you pull pins. Looking at you. Homescapes. RF Homescapes. Scientology. Planned obsolescence. Where products are deliberately designed to have a defect or worse performance shortly after the warranty has expired. No sh. My car has a 60,000 mile warranty. 60,007 my transmission shat the bed. Chrysler is the only car company I do not even consider when buying a car. No car's transmission should go out at 60k. But that's typical stuff for them. Been making hot garbage for 40 years. Members of Senate, Congress, and presidential candidates. Collecting money from corporations, big donors, and hiding it in campaign accounts. Packs and super packs, and then doling it out as they like. They no longer act as a government of the people and for the people. The price for cable and internet. Ink cartridges. Printer companies make barely any profit off of actual printers. They are just vessels to make you buy unreasonably priced cartridges. Hey please print this document in black and white if you give magenta. Internet data cap. Fing scammers. If you tell me the truth, I won't get mad. Mom. Did your mom also pull out that George Washington and the cherry tree bullsh? Unpaid internships. 
F anyone who gives unpaid internships. People get exploited like Shinat and for what? Most times they don't even count. For what purpose? I get so irritated when someone posts and paid but you'll be given a certificate. Shut the F up and do the work by yourself you lazy A. Diamond rings for marriage. Basically the entire wedding industry. Starting a new life together. Why not plunge yourselves in two thousands of dollars of debt. Anything people do because of tradition is ripe for scamming. Marriage? Scam. Funeral? Scam. Baby shower gifts? Wildly overpriced. MLM.